Shodoshima is a small island in the Seto Inland Sea in western Japan. It's just an hour's ferry ride from Takamatsu City in Kagawa. The island has a population of about 30,000. Shodoshima's mild climate and beautiful scenery attract many tourists, including over 100,000 overseas visitors each year. So this is a popular tourist destination. The problem is, not enough visitors stay here. Access to the island is so convenient that most people make it a day trip. How to encourage more tourists to stay overnight on Shodoshima? A group of Kagawa University students made this their project. They looked for new, unique aspects of the island that might encourage overnight visits. One of the group, Anri Tada, has been visiting Shodoshima with her family since childhood. I have lots of memories of our family trips to Shodoshima. When you actually walk around the island, two things strike you. The old town with its odd winding lanes and the amazingly complicated scenery of its coast and mountains. It's a unique place. The island's long history is reflected in the layout of its main town, where the centre is a maze of narrow alleyways. It's said that back in the 13th century, the town was deliberately planned this way in order to confuse any invading forces. Tada and her fellow students decided to focus on making this maze-like area entertaining for visitors. They produced a map to guide walkers through the lanes. Exploring these alleyways, you'll get a real feel for the island's history. Another part of the students' plan involved utilising abandoned old homes. Surely these could be converted into overnight accommodations. However, the town had no tradition of using private homes as guest houses, and their first task was to convince the locals it was a good idea. First, we had to find out how many empty houses were available and how much repair would be needed. And then we had to persuade the neighbours. We couldn't simply decide to go ahead by ourselves. Tada's perseverance eventually paid off. Going round and explaining the plan to local residents, she gradually won their support. Now the work began of transforming their chosen old house. To keep costs down, the students did most of the work themselves. After much effort, their first guest house was ready for visitors. Following the handout map, the first visitors make their way through the town's back lanes, searching for the new guest house. This way. This way. Designed centuries ago to thwart invaders, the maze of alleyways now adds to the fascination of this old town. <laughs> we did it! I think people will have such fun solving the puzzle of actually finding our guest house that they'll want to stay longer than just one night. I hope they'll take away unforgettable memories of their visit here. The challenge for Tada and her fellow students has just begun but their energy and fresh ideas are already inspiring the town.